Hi, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is Similarities in Diffusion and Filtration. All right, so let's go over both of these concepts. First, diffusion. So let's say we have a cup of water here, and we add some sugar molecules to it. At first, they're going to be wherever we just added them. So probably right like under a spoon or something. Uh, and so they're all going to be concentrated over in this corner because they're just put there. But over time, or because of stirring or heating, or all three or combination, they'll start to spread out. And all of them will take up an equal concentration in the water, creating a delicious sugary mixture. That's diffusion. Now let's look at filtration. Let's say that we actually now have some little sticks. And so right now, they're all diffused, but we don't want the sticks in our swimming pool or whatever. So what we have to do is we have to filter them out. So if this is water and sticks, we can create a filter, pour the water through, and all the sticks will be stuck here as long as the filter is made of pores that are smaller than the sticks but larger than water. And so these are the two concepts, diffusion, concentrated to spread out, filtration, spread out to concentrated and removed. So the in similarities, they're both dealing with some kind of particle or molecule that's within something else, um, but they're not completely the same because this is basically the opposite of filtration, right? You're completely mixing this in there as much as it can, whereas filtration, whatever we have, we're trying to get to leave completely. I'm Robin Higgins, and this has been The Differences and Similarities in Diffusion and Filtration. Thank you.